Hey, what's up guys? KSK here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I will show you how to do boot Garuda Linux with Windows 10. And this guide is one of the safest ways to set up a do boot on any PC or laptop without any data loss. Also, at the end of this video, I will show you how to remove Garuda Linux safely from the Duo Boot. So make sure you watch the video until the end without missing any parts. Now keep in mind, this guide will work for both BIOS MBR as well as UEFI GPT users. Meaning all modern computer users can use this guide to do boot their PC with Garuda Linux on their existing Windows 10. There may be no data loss you will encounter while using this method, but still it's always recommended to back up any important data from Windows 10 just to be on a safer side. Apart from that, as long as you follow this guide, you will be able to successfully do boot Garuda Linux and Windows 10 on your PC or laptop safely. The prerequisites of this video you need a Windows 10 running on your PC or laptop. Next, you need a 8 gigs or higher pen drive to create a bootable media with Garuda Linux. And lastly, you need to reserve a free space of 30 gigabytes or higher from your drive. That being said, moving into step number one, downloading the required files. Now open your favorite browser then go to the official website of Garuda Linux and download the latest version. Next up, you need to go to the Rufus website and download the Rufus tool which helps in creating a bootable disk with Garuda Linux. Step number two, creating a bootable drive with Rufus. Once it's done downloading all of the files, place it somewhere on your computer for easier navigation. Now go ahead and connect the pen drive to your PC or laptop and right click on the Rufus and run as administrator. Inside Rufus, choose the drive letter of your pen drive. In this case, my drive letter is showing here. I'm gonna leave it as a default. Then under the boot selection, click on the select option to import the ISO image file. Now go ahead and look for the Garuda image file on your computer and open it. Now you can leave the partition scheme as MBR and the target system as BIOS UEFI. Then click on the start button to burn the ISO image file into the pen drive. Now sit back and relax, the process will take some time depending on the writing speeds of your pen drive. Step number three, allocating free space for Garuda Linux. Now open the search menu on your Windows computer and type diskmgmt.msc to open the Disk Manager. Disk Manager is a tool that helps in creating a free space for Garuda Linux from the same drive where Windows 10 has installed. Now as you can see, this is my drive zero which consists of three partitions. The first one is a system partition, and the middle one is a C drive, and the last one is the recovery partition. I'm going to use the C drive to shrink an unallocated free space for Garuda Linux. To do so, right-click on the drive and choose Shrink Volume. In my case, I will shrink 50 GB for Garuda Linux.
And as you can see, an unallocated free space of 50 gigabytes has been created successfully. Moving on to step number four, installing Garuda Linux. Now go ahead and reboot your computer. While rebooting your PC, press F10 on your keyboard to open the boot menu. Here you can select your drive name. In this case, it is showing my drive as SanDisk. And I'm going to choose this option to boot Garuda Linux Live Setup. You can only use this boot menu option if your pen drive is not automatically booting into Garuda Linux Live Setup. Now when you are inside the live setup of Garuda Linux, go ahead and click on Garuda Linux installer from the desktop. Now set your language, in this case I'm going to use English as the default language and then click on next. Now choose the time zone and location from here. Now for keyboard layout, choose the English. US as a default option. Now here you will be presented to the partitions manager. As of now my PC has only a single drive connected. You can select the appropriate drive from here. In this case I have chosen the Samsung SSD. Now go ahead and select the replace partition and choose the gray color partition which is the unallocated space we have created in Windows 10. The installer will automatically going to manage everything by installing Garuda Linux on this partition. Now go ahead click on next and create a user account. Once it's done, click on next. Now go ahead, click on install to start writing Garuda Linux. It's time to sit back and relax. The installation process will take 5 to 20 minutes depending on the writing speeds of your drive. Once it's done, go ahead restart your computer by removing the bootable media. Now your system should boot into the Grub Bootloader. From here, you can either boot into Garuda Linux or Windows 10. For now, let's just boot into Garuda Linux. The bonus part of this video is that if in case you don't like Garuda Linux and decide to uninstall it, then reboot your computer to Windows 10.
Now keep in mind, this will work for only UEFI users. For BIOS MBR users, watch the video from the link in the description down below. Anyway, on your Windows computer, open Disk Manager by typing this command inside this search box. Here you can see next to C drive, Garuda Linux partition is located. Just go ahead and delete this partition. Once it's deleted, you can use this unallocated free space to extend the C drive. Now go ahead, type CMD and run as administrator. And here type a disk part. Now type list disk. This will show all of the connected drives to the computer. In my case, I have connected only one drive, which is where Windows has installed. Now select this drive by typing select disk and the number of the disk. This will select the disk. Once it's done, now type list partition to list out all of the partitions on this drive. You might see a 3 plus partitions. What we're gonna do is that we have to use the system partition to remove the grub bootloader from the drive. To do so, select partition one, which is a system partition by typing this command. Once it's selected, type assign letter equals to X to mount this partition temporarily. Now type exit to get out of the disk part manager. Now type x colon. This will change into the directory. Here type dir to list the contents of that partition. Now change the directory into efi by typing cd efi. Again if I type dir, this will list the contents of the EFI folder. Here you can see the Garuda boot files and you have to delete this folder otherwise your system will stuck into grub bootloader. Anyway, to fix this issue, type this command rd garuda forward slash s and press y to confirm the changes and remove the Linux bootloader files. That's it, now we have successfully removed Garuda Linux. Now restart your computer. It should boot your system into Windows 10 and you won't face any grub issues. This is how you properly set up a do boot on your Windows computer with Garuda Linux. And that's pretty much it. If in case you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down there and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and consider clicking the bell icon to get notified whenever I post a new video. Thanks for watching this video. It's been KSK Ryle. I'll catch you in my next one. Peace out.